Hi, it's Doug from MD Fishing. Now today, I'm at a new creek that I've never fished at before. I'm gonna be showing you exactly where I cast and telling you why I cast there. Don't forget to check out our Instagram for more creek fishing tips, but let's get into the action. Now today, I'm gonna to be using a small silver spinner. I'm gonna be going after tiny bass and actually just trying to see what's in this creek. Notice here we have two connecting streams of water. So I'm literally going to cast straight into this current and then just keep my spinner down, retrieving super slow because the current's doing all the work. Now I can jerk it a little bit. But again, still reeling. Super slow. So now instead of attacking the flowing current going this way straight on, I'm now going to cast into it sideways so my bait moves in a fanning motion towards the shallow shore and hopefully that's a little bit more natural than my previous presentation. This water is moving really fast and when that does happen it does put you at a disadvantage. And you see I'm following my lure as it goes through the water. There we go. Whew. Like I said, followed it. There we go. <laughs> he followed it from one side and then came all the way back up. right back into the current. So again, what I did there, I cast it from one side, sideways, brought it across, and once it got to the shallow, it's right here where he hit. Now I'm having other little guys hit it, so let's move on. Now as this current comes down, you notice along that bank, it's cut very sharp, which is telling me that it's gonna be very deep over there, so Whenever you see that, be sure to take your lure, and that's why I love these spinners. They're heavy enough you can flip right back into those pockets. And as I'm casting, I'm just moving over foot by foot and just flipping in those holes. I'm not even worried about the little things that are hitting my lure. Oh man, this one's bigger. Because you see, the big ones are always just going to take it. Go right back. See, he shot right out from the bank. I didn't even see him. Followed it into the current. See if there's any more. And if not, okay, keep moving. Flip. Repeat. So still, moving down. Gotta hit it right away. Again, another creek chub. There he goes. And as the bank runs out, I'm just not going to cast there as much. Oh, got another one. Our 
starts off. Now, as you can see, the bank continues, but I'm just going to skip that for now because I really want to move down to this pool. Now, over here in this pool, you can see the water is much more still. Hopefully, I can pull a nice big one out of there that's nice and strong that doesn't have to fight the current. Also, don't forget, when attacking a pool of this size, don't just make a long cast right away all the way down. When you're retrieving that fish, it might scare the rest of them in the middle. Always start with a point and then work your way down, especially if you're going from upstream down. You would work at the opposite if you were coming from downstream up. small mouth. Oh, he's fighting. Jeez. Yeah. All right, not bad. Oh, and there he goes right back in, nice and lively. So now moving on from this pool, and I don't know if you can tell by the shadows, but because the current comes back down and narrows, there is now a very deep channel and normally, I like to put on small crankbaits and hit them off the rock. But I've been doing well with this spinner. So let's see what I get. And remember, I, you should be trying to fish from the side, bringing your lure down in a fanning motion. So I'm going to cast my lure straight. And hopefully the current brings it right into that pool. Yep. And nothing there, but that's okay keep moving. Now I'm just going to keep fishing this channel going down, taking a couple casts, a couple steps, a couple casts, a couple steps. Right there as soon as it hits. Good for me. Moving water can be tough, especially if you're not using flies. But whenever I see this moving water, I'm just going to do one cast into those tiny eddies behind rocks where the current isn't as strong. And I'm just hoping that something sitting in there will just reaction strike. My lord. So I moved on from there. And now I'm heading down. And here the water looks very shallow. So as I look into the water, I'm going to be trying to point out rocks and slower currents to cast in. you found it up. So I just slowed it down enough just for him to get him. Okay. Works for me, but see, casting, smaller current, heavy, then an eddy coming right here off the rock. Even though it's underwater, it's still creating that current. Now you see the bubbles? That is a clear sign that there is an eddy meaning that the water is staying there. So I'm going to do a light cast and try to bring my lure right through that soft spot in the current. Now it looks like it's connected to another one behind this rock. So you could flip into that bank if you wanted to. The current's moving kind of strong. I'm really interested in targeting this calmer water down here. Let's check it out. All right, see there's a deep bank. Let's 
So as you can see, I could keep going down the river and just continue those patterns. And I would catch fish, not in every single hole, but definitely something. If you just keep working at it, hitting those pockets and reading the water, you're gonna find fish. So basically today, caught a bunch of chubs, one nice smallmouth. All in all, I'd say it's a pretty successful day, especially for never fishing here before. So please let me know if I missed anything or if there's anything I need to try out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time, tight lines.